NMEP has warned that the European Parliament will just sit by and watch as EU executives snag more powers for themselves. Swedish MEP Charlie Weimer said his colleagues in the institution would act as cheerleaders, while Brussels seizes control of more national competences from the member states. In an interview with Express, he warned that the bloc was headed full tilt towards a European superstate without the influence of Britain to limit the power of Eurocrats. Mr. Weimer said this transformation would manifest itself over the next 10 years as the bloc moves on after Brexit. He said the post-divorce conference on the future of Europe would give the first hints at the EU's future direction, which the Swede believes will see yet more centralized powers in Brussels. The European Parliament is a cheerleader for centralized power, he said, referring to the lack of opposition the Commission faces in its plans for domination. Constitutionally it's a very peculiar situation, the checks and balances are just not there. Having lifted a lid on soft-touch MEPs allowing powers to pass from EU countries to Brussels, Mr. Weimer suggested naturally conservative capitals would monitor the progress of Brexit. He said the discussion over the next EU split will rage on in his native Sweden, as well as the Netherlands and Denmark. Realistically the EU will be as now, but even bigger, even more centralized, Mr. Weimers added. But it depends on the United Kingdom. Britain will provide an example, it will spur competition again after decades of harmonization. If Brexit succeeds, in several countries, especially the Nordics and the Netherlands, the discussions will still be ongoing over whether to proceed with a superstate or not. Mr. Weimers hinted that the EU's vaccine farce would give voters a good idea of the dangers of handing too much power to Brussels. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has taken personal charge of the sluggish rollout of COVID jabs, which analysts say is at least five weeks behind schedule already. Eurocrats have called for more powers to be transferred from European capitals to Brussels as the answer to the crisis. In response to the bungled scheme, Mr. Weimers, Ursula von der Leyen, famously said this was Europe's moment. And I have to agree this is Europe's moment of embarrassment. Mrs. von der Leyen has been hiding for most of this week and it seems no one in the Commission have got a grip on the situation. Departments are passing the buck, blaming each other, while she is focusing on damage control. What this crisis shows is that the EU never lets a good crisis go to waste, this is true for the pandemic and shows the EU is not up for the job. European capitals placed responsibility for the life and death of their citizens in the hands of Brussels, Mr. Weimers said. And this decision has backfired with the EU struggling to overcome a shortage of vaccine supplies after a bitter row with UK-based drugs giant AstraZeneca. The feud left the bloc short of some 40 million doses short as it races against the clock to vaccinate 70% of adults by the end of September.